Meghan Markle has reportedly decided on her new Netflix project, a preview of the famous Charles Dickens novel Great Expectations, while Prince Harry wants to take a slightly different venture. Royal expert Angela Levin has discussed what fans should expect from the couple's ongoing Netflix deal, by speaking about the pair's conflicting ideas for upcoming projects. She told GB News, It's interesting that Meghan is working on doing a preview really of, Charles, Dickens' book Great Expectations and she's doing it as a feminist living in a man's world. So, it's before she's left at the altar, and you think, it's not going to work before it's even got anywhere because it's going to be about Meghan's life and men in a very difficult community and it's not fair and it's not right. She added, you know, everything on great expectations since the first film in 1946 has proven to be absolutely hopeless. So she's going to do that, she's staying in America. Ms. Levine then went on to discuss Harry, and said, Prince, Harry wants to go to Africa and talk about the people and the animals and all that, which he loves, has called it his second home. He feels very happy in that. The pair still hold on to their deal with the streaming service, despite losing their deal with Spotify last month. The couple, who also signed with Spotify in 2020, parted ways with the company just last month, with both issuing a statement to announce the end of an era. They both highlighted that they were proud of the only series to come out of the deal, Meghan's podcast series, Archetypes. Eight hours ago 20 38 Callie Brooks what King Charles and Camilla pay their top staff after bit of pay row erupts at Palace a royal row has erupted after it was revealed exactly how much some palace workers are taking home, with a £100,000 difference between male and female private secretaries. The annual report, which was released last month, showed that the King Charles male private secretary is paid more than double the salary of Queen Camilla's female top aide. The Sovereign Grant report sets out taxpayer-funded expenditure used to support the monarch's official duties. Sir Clive Alderton, Charles' right-hand man, is a top earner being paid between £205,000 and £210,000. Nine hours ago 19 15 Callie Brooks King Charles will have very tough time in first Balmoral summer without Queen, claim King Charles will have a very tough time returning to Balmoral this summer for the royal family's first trip since the death of Queen Elizabeth II, it has been claimed. The King and Queen Camilla will continue the royal tradition of gathering the family at the Scotland estate, but this year will be very different to the past 70 years following the death of the Queen. Body language expert Darren Stanton believes the King will be most affected. During her reign, the Queen would spend several months a year at Balmoral Castle in Aberdeenshire and became known as the Monarch's Happy Place. 11 hours ago 17 colon 16 Callie Brooks Eugenie makes sweet joke about Beatrice's former fashion habit, I loved her for it Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice may be style icons now, but just like the rest of us they experimented with fashion in their early years. And while the princesses likely have access to the most incredible wardrobes, from Beulah London to the vampire's wife to Overdem, older sister Beatrice reportedly used to wear one outfit over and over again. Back in 2019, Eugenie took to Instagram to post a throwback photo of herself and her older sister. The royal duo were snapped with their arms wrapped around each other. Eugenie wearing a blue and pink floral dress and Beatrice a cute number with a green bodice and red and white polka dot skirt. 
12 hours ago 16 colon 34 Cali Brooks King Charles Marks Royal first by hiring woman of color for top role King Charles III has hired a person of color to take on the role of assistant private security. It is believed to be the first time that someone from an ethnic minority has taken on this role. A source has claimed that this move was undertaken to make a conscious effect to look beyond the normal British white male parameters. The British civil servant, who remains unnamed, is said to be joining another new recruit, with the Mail on Sunday naming them as Nathan Ross. Dr. Ross, who was formerly part of the New Zealand government, will advise the King on the Commonwealth and sustainability. 13 hours ago 15 colon 00 Lauren Welch Harry and Williams rift could only have been healed by one person, says royal expert Prince Harry made a number of shocking accusations about Prince William in his memoir Spare. Netflix and Harry's bombshell memoir Spare. Here 14 hours ago 14 colon 40 Lauren Welch Harry and Meghan being put on ice by Hollywood elites after 15 million pound deal axed, says expert a royal expert has weighed in on what they believe the future holds for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, a few weeks on from the end of their multi-million pound deal with Spotify. Royal commentator Alison Boshoff has spoken out regarding Prince Harry and Meghan Markle claiming that pair have allegedly been put on ice in terms of their future career prospects. Boshoff has said that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex once hoped to become a global humanitarian power couple, but these ambitions are looking less likely, especially with Hollywood elites freezing them out. Here 14 hours ago 13 colon 58 Lauren Welch Princess Diana's style legacy through the decades including her most memorable moments Princess Diana was renowned as the people's princess for her humanitarian efforts but also as a style icon of the 80s and 90s. On what would have been her 62nd birthday, Express. Co.uk takes a look back at the former Princess of Wales' poignant fashion legacy. Here 15 hours ago 13 colon 18 Lauren Welch Princess Gates' radical new way of raising Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Louis the Princess of Wales is reportedly insisting on a new way of doing things when it comes to raising her three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Kate the Princess of Wales has reportedly installed a radical new way of raising Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, sticking to her roots when it comes to the royal trio. Royal biographer Tom Quinn has opened up about behind a Gates child raising when it comes to Kate's parenting approach, and how the 41-year-old has respectfully slightly modified tradition. Here 16 hours ago 12 colon 32 Lauren Welch Real Reason Palace buried report into claims of Meghan Markle bullying staff last June, Buckingham Palace said it was investigating the allegations of bullying made against Meghan by its staff, claims she vehemently denied Buckingham Palace won't be releasing the inquiry investigating the bullying claims surrounding Meghan Markle so the firm is able to keep the peace with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. In an updated paperback version of his book Courtiers, Valentine Lowe, a royal correspondent for The Times detailed the claim. Here 17 hours ago 11 colon 54 Lauren Welch Palace Row erupts as King Charles and Camilla accused of kick and teeth to staff the salaries of King Charles and Queen Camilla's top two members of staff were disclosed in the annual Sovereign Grant report last month. King Charles and Queen Camilla have been accused of launching a kick in the teeth at staff as a row erupts over two staff members' pay. The annual report, which was released last month, showed that the King's male private secretary is paid more than double the salary of Queen Camilla's female top aide. The report 
which sets out taxpayer-funded expenditure, showed that Sir Clive Alderton is paid between £205,000 and £210,000, while Sophie Dinsham receives somewhere between £90,000 and £95,000. Here 17 hours ago 11 colon 14 Lauren Welch Eugenie makes sweet joke about Beatrice's former fashion habit, I loved her for it Princess Eugenie made a hilarious joke about Princess Beatrice's childhood style, sharing some stylish throwback photos. Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice may be style icons now, but just like the rest of us they experimented with fashion in their early years. Here 18 hours ago 10 colon 29 Lauren Welch Prince George's outfit for the Ashes Sparks fan concern over missing item Prince George looked every inch the future king as he enjoyed a solo day out with his father, Prince William. As Prince George enjoyed a day at the Ashes with Prince William, the nine-year-old sparked concern as fans spotted one missing item from his outfit. While the young royal looked happy, eating pizza and spending some one-on-one -on -one time with his father, some fans took to social media to express their concern that George was missing his sunglasses as he appeared to be screwing up his eyes watching the cricket from the box. Here 19 hours ago 09 colon 53 Lauren Welch Princess Kate can wow in less flattering styles thanks to clever styling trick. Claim Kate Middleton is known to make a statement in bold colors having most recently shocked crowds at Royal Ascot in a red Alexander McQueen gown. While some may credit the princess's brunette locks and slender figure for her ability to pull off any look, a celebrity stylist claimed that it's down to her complexion. Here 19 hours ago 09 colon 26 Lauren Welch Express readers call for hard-working royals to get a proper summer break a new express. Co.uk poll has revealed widespread support in favor of the royal family having time off from their duties in the summer. The royal family are set to continue Queen Elizabeth II's summer tradition of gathering at the Balmoral Estate in Scotland but King Charles is expected to keep his break much shorter. The grounds and exhibitions on display in the Aberdeenshire Estate will remain open to the public until mid-August, limiting its availability for the royals. Here 19 hours ago 08 colon 55 Lauren Welch King William Alexander apologies for Dutch role in slavery and asks for forgiveness The King of the Netherlands used his historic speech on Saturday July 1st to apologize for the country's role in slavery. King William Alexander asked for forgiveness on a key anniversary of the abolition of slavery. The event was held to commemorate the anniversary of the abolition of slavery in the Dutch colonies. The speech comes just a few months after Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte issued a similar apology last year. Here 20 hours ago 08 colon 13 Lauren Welch King Charles called on to strip Prince Andrew of last remaining royal honours a new express. Co.uk poll has revealed that a staggering 79% of readers think that the Duke of York should be stripped of his Knight of the Garter honor. Prince Andrew was banned from joining members of the royal family at the annual Garter Day procession and ceremony in Windsor last week and Express. Co.uk readers have called for the Duke of York to be stripped of his privileges, a new poll has revealed. Here 21 hours ago 07 colon 41 Lauren Welch Good morning good morning from London. I'm Lauren Welch, I'll be bringing you all the latest developments on the royal family. Please feel free to get in touch with me as I work if you have a story or tips to share. Your thoughts are always welcome. Email, lauren.welch at reachbook.com Come.